Hello and welcome to Body, Mind and Spirit Meditations for the Soul. In this new year, we will be we will begin by um, praying together using the daily prayers of the Cori Mila community. Um, the, these prayers are written by um, the poet and Cori Mila community leader Padraig Atuma. And the Cori Mila community is Northern Ireland's um, longest established peace and reconciliation organization. So we will be praying together um, the prayers of their community for peace and reconciliation. Let us join together in a time of grounding and centering before our practice. Let's begin by connecting with our breath, connecting with our body, Feeling the breath moving in and out. Feeling into the soles of the feet. Maybe spreading your toes, wiggling them around and placing them back down on the ground so that you feel the firmness or the softness of the ground underneath your feet. Moving up the legs, maybe take your palms and rub your knees, feeling the bend in your knees. And then moving up your thighs, pressing into your thighs, feeling the backs of your thighs and your seat supported by the chair. your spine. Feel your spine either supported by the back of your chair or perhaps you're sitting up nice and tall. Spine long, shoulders back and down, eyes closed, gaze softened. Again, connecting with the breath in and out. introduce us into some embodied prayer practices, some hand gestures that you can use throughout your prayers. And as we pray together these daily prayers, I invite you to follow the, the hand gestures that I'm doing, or maybe there's something else that's more honoring to you. But I do want to teach you just these, these few hand gestures, and then you use them as you feel is appropriate in your own prayer life. So the first one is a hand gesture of awaiting. And your hands are about at your waist, cupped and ready to receive. As you await God's presence, not as you expect, not as you hope or imagine, just as it is right here in this moment. Notice how this hand gesture feels in your body. gesture is allow and with this hand gesture we raise our heart our hands up reaching up palms open allowing a sense of God's presence or not to come and to be what it is 
without meeting your expectations, just as it is in this moment. Notice how this gesture feels in your body. to accept and for acceptance we bring our hands to our heart cupped toward the body accepting as a gift whatever it is that comes or does not come accepting that you are not in charge accepting the infinity of God's presence, whether or not you are aware of that presence. You are invited to pause and notice how this gesture of prayer feels in your body. Any sensations or emotions that arise stretched, ready to be responsive. And in this stance of openness, we attend to the actions that God gives you, that God invites you to take. So your hands may be extended out like this, or they may be open a bit more. Notice how this posture feels in your body. Notice any sensations or emotions that arise. with all its potentials and possibilities. We began our day with trust, knowing we are created for loving an encounter. We began our day with hope, knowing that can hold love, kindness, forgiveness, and justice. these words from Mark chapter 7 verses 24 through 30. From there he set out and went away to the region of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know he was there. 
Yet he could not escape notice that a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him. And she came and bowed at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile of Syrophoenician origin. She begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, let the children be fed first, for it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, Sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, For saying that, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. So she went home found the child lying on the bed and the demon gone. Jesus of Nazareth, when you met the woman of Syrophoenicia, you called her a little dog, but that didn't stop her. Little dogs need little crumbs, she said. And you listened, repented, and praised her for her words. We praise her words too and ask that we can speak like her and listen like you because this is the gift of resilience and repentance. This just might save us. Let us continue in prayer, meditation, and reflection. We recall our day yesterday. May we learn. May we love. May we live on. We make room for the unexpected. May we find wisdom and life in the unexpected. Help us to embrace possibility, to respond graciously to disappointment, and to hold tenderly those we encounter. Help us to be fully present the day.
pray for all those whose day will be difficult. May we support, may we listen, may we change. We resolve to live life in its fullness. We will welcome the people who will be a part of this day. We will greet God in ordinary and in hidden moments. We will live the life that we are living. as we close our time of prayer and meditation today. After each phrase, you are invited to respond by taking a breath and speaking the words, God be with us. May we find the wisdom we need. we hear the needs of those we meet. God be with us. May we love the life that we are given. <laughs> 